the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, God bless you. Hey, I appreciate you uh, uh, joining in and taking a look at our, our videos and the session that we deal with today. We, we had a good session on the 6th of August uh, dealing with, the, and I'm giving the title in a minute, but I just want to sit there and say, God bless you and I thank you for your support. Don't forget to subscribe uh, and leave comments if you want to leave comments. And we're going to go ahead and break these sessions down from A to G or whatever it needs to do to complete it. And we'll try to post them on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. Uh, those who subscribe, you get notice when we put them out. Uh, those we use by text, we saw a video, we'll send those out on, on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, but I really encourage you to take a look at this because I mean, I tell you, man, this is a great subject today. And let me tell you what the subject is here. The title is interesting. Let's talk about the fact is that uh, I don't see nothing with a timer on it. The top of the fact is, do other gospels give more authority to steal, kill, and destroy? When we talk about the fact is there's only one gospel, but people have used the title of Christianity, title of their belief system, to justify another message of kill, steal, and destroy. Our faith, which is in Christianity, talks about loving one another and of the salvation of all mankind if they receive and they believe. But that's that's the choice they make and God gives us a choice. But there's others who manipulate the scriptures, pervert the scriptures, and try to use it to do things to, such as, and I call these categories in John 10.10, 10, to steal, kill, and destroy. So that's what we talk about. We use Galatians uh, 1, 6 through 10, and John 10, 10, and Philippians 3, 12 through 17. I encourage you to take a look at and read those scriptures uh, for yourself because it's very important. But I did put down here, let me go ahead and, and uh, show the, that foundational scripture, which it says in Galatians 1, 6, I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of the Christ grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another. And that's the whole point. It's not another gospel. But there be some that trouble you and will revert the gospel of Christ. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which you, that which we have preached unto you, let them be a curse. As we have said before, so Say, I now again, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than that which you have received, let him be a curse. For I do now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Think about that. That's why we're talking about the fact is that we're going to show some historical records, uh, and I, you'll see in a few minutes, where... Uh, People have gone to, and this time, the biggest ministry of Christianity at that time, back in the 1400s, 1500s, 15th century, uh, was the Roman Catholic Church. I'm not putting Catholic Church down. I'm not putting, I'm talking about the, the individual who was in charge at that time. Not now. And not the whole history of the Catholic Church. But those that were in charge at that time wrote letters to justify slavery. And that's why people sit there and say the Bible justifies slavery. No. People did. And people did it using another gospel. Why I said another gospel? Because Christ didn't teach us that. That's not in the teaching of Christ. That's not a teaching of to steal, kill, and destroy. That is not the teaching of Christ. Amen? And that's what we want to be saying. So, I hope you enjoy this segment that uh, you're going to listen to this session. And, and the whole point is, people manipulate and try to pervert the gospel to do bad things. And I'm asking you to not let people anymore pervert you to do bad things, but to love one another. Because we're all children of God. 
and we all have the right to have, <laughs> to live in peace, not in torture and pain and oppression and, 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 and discrimination. We, we, don't, we don't need that, amen? So I hope you enjoyed the session. I did extend this, so I'm gonna cut it in some more. Hope we're gonna break this down to A, B, B, to G. But God bless you. And just remember, Jesus, Yeshua is Lord. Yeshua is Jesus' Hebrew name for Savior. God bless you. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> and then what happened to them? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, the, I'm, the children of Israel, go ahead. I said, the children of Israel went into the promised land because the people have reached their level, the people that were in it already, uh -huh. had reached their level of transgressions, right? Yeah. yeah. Right? And then the bad thing about it is that uh, hundreds of some years later, they reached their level yeah. Yeah. of they, transgression. They, they came short. They came short. Of the glory. So, and they they were the oracle. You see, I guess you could say they had the oracle of God. They were given. Mm. The Bible says they were given the oracles. Mm. The words mm. of God. And, and the crazy thing is, it was for their benefit, for their glory, for yeah. their, their, their protection, mm -hmm. for their righteousness, for them mm -hmm. to be <clears throat> in a position where they were protected mm -hmm. from God. Yeah. And, and it was God that gave them the victory. Come on now. Not of themselves. Not of themselves. But it was yeah. God. I mean, mm. when you look at the situation and circumstances when <laughs> when they they cross that river they fall yes, I mean, before the river yeah. god did it all yeah complete and all mm -hmm. they did not have to lift a finger come on but once they crossed that river they had to prove themselves yes and it was almost like a faith action they believed and mm -hmm. God gave them that. And so they went forth and yeah. God gave it to them. You did? They had to, they had to do works, mm -hmm. which was their fruit in belief of what <laughs> God told them. Yeah. That, you know, that they were going to get the victory and do it, do it this way, do it that yeah. way. Yeah. Go here, go there. And so when they, when they did that, <coughs> they were victorious. But then once they started disobeying and doing things of their own volition. Yeah. God just moved away. It wasn't that that he didn't, you know, he he left them. He just pulled back. Yeah. Yeah. Said, okay. Well, you want to do this? Then do it. Exactly. You're doing it without me. That reminded me of AI was a yeah. good example, wasn't it? AI was a good example. And people I know we hey, brother asked you need to understand. Not everybody knows the scripture, so that's okay. Yeah. We just referring to, we're talking about when they went into the promised land, the first place they attacked was Jericho. And they went around that city seven times in a day, every each day for seven days. And then they shouted and the walls came down. Yeah. That was God demonstrated is that you, 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 what, they, you can't take credit for this. Yeah. You, 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 you can't, those walls came down for your behalf, on your behalf. You know, um, and then all I told he told them, and he told them. I mean, they I, they had a good discussion for this before they went. Yeah. Do not take anything, anything, anything. He said, "I'm telling y'all, don't do it. Don't don't <laughs> do it." And some knucklehead. Yeah. It is interesting when you talk about how many people we're talking. About. I'm talking about out of a hundreds of thousands of people, one person. Decided to take the accursed thing. Decided <laughs> to bury it in his tent. And they had to go through tribe by tribe until they got to that works. one guy. And, and you know, hey brother, I say it's funny. We, this is me. In that situation, the guys are tell me the truth. What, what do you do? <laughs> and look, and, and, uh, and, and, and this is going to make the situation better for you. <laughs> It's, we're gonna go easy on you now. Just go and tell the truth. 
No, now I want you to tell the truth. Yeah. So that everybody will understand why we're gonna do what we're gonna do to you. Because you, you you already deserve yeah, what's you, gonna you, happen. You, when you took it, mm. you was cursed. God, God, and it, it's children, his wives, a wife. Yeah, every, every everything he had. I think yeah. everything he had. He whatever had animals, anything else he had. They, they put him in a in a pit, and they threw rocks on him. They burnt him too. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, that and, whole that whole lineage. Yes, sir. And just if I want to look it up later, because those those one of the things I, I just tell you, like, okay, we're gonna have to cover. We will cover some of these stories. Sometimes we have to refer to them, but. Every session where we will use those as examples, people. I'm, I'm just telling you. Uh, but when Joshua lost that battle in Ai, he was he was he was he was, he was angry. Hmm. He was he what do you call it? he he pissed a fit, didn't he? He was upset but at the wrong person. <laughs> and look, what did God? You remember what God said to him? What, he, I don't know. Do you remember what He said to him? What he, said? he said, "Get up." Oh yeah, Israel has sinned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, I know y'all know this, man. I don't know so I'm just trying to cover it. I just don't have time to cover it, but it, it's, I'm just how God is. That's <laughs> how he is. <laughs> he, he, man, he, he gets to the root, <laughs> you know, and, and and he's always doing that in my life, <laughs> you know, no matter what it is. And I think it's some somebody else or something else. Yeah. He always points at me. It does. <laughs> well, you should have. You should have. Get you up. Should have. You. <laughs> you did it. I like that. You did this. I love it. I love it. Yeah. I do. I do he love it. it. He deals with the root cause. <laughs> <Or, laughs> he deals with you. Yeah. He stayed through the album, didn't he? Did, did uh, you? With Adam and Eve. Did you yeah. say that? Who, first of all, he said, who told you you that kid? I like that. I love that. That that that. Who told you that? Did you? It did Bill. He went straight to He didn't let me ask the question. Yeah. He asked another question. Did you eat of that tree I told you not to? Because the only way you can sit there and say that you heard or decided you were naked, did you eat from that tree? And then, like you said, first thing man did is that woman you gave. <laughs> yeah. And and I think some of us think that that's what you're going to be able to do when you go before him. When we say everybody got to give account to themselves to God, that you're going to sit there and say, "Well, Lord, is that pastor you you gave me? That your pastor told me." You see what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, oh, oh look. The, mo the mother you gave, I, I, the, mo the mother that gave me birth, you, you gave me a mother. I came out into this world and your mama, my mama and my daddy told me that this was a separate behavior, which I'm concerned about people too. Is how many of you just, you, you talk about word by education, but what are you teaching your children? Are you teaching them to, to, to steal Kill, my fact, I'm gonna use that. I think that's a good topic when I think about it, right? Are you teaching your children to steal, kill, and destroy? Because we're gonna go to scripture, John 10:10. They're gonna tell you what what comes to steal, kill, and destroy, <laughs> right? Uh, so we really gotta watch out for that. But I, I do like those scriptures, and I, that's why I came off for a minute so we could just talk about it. But we'll cover those uh, actual examples throughout the platform uh, because I think they're important. I know people don't remember that stuff. You're like, brother, I just ask him a question. It, it it triggered him once I sit there and said it. Is But sometimes you're like, what did he say? And and I know I have, and I was sitting there the other day, I was sitting there looking at a TV show, y'all, because this is an example of us, people, all of us. So how are you going to sit there and remember? You can't sometimes remember people's names. Uh, especially talking about sometimes celebrities, right? I was looking at uh, Steve Harvey, right? <laughs> and he was doing something. And, and, and I was like, what is this day? <laughs> you know, and I told him, don't tell me. I know who he is. I know his name. But I just, you know, sometimes your name won't surface. Oh, 
that you you already across that, right? Yeah. Well, that, so that's why. So, when, so if I ask you that question, I used to use an example. Use my prop. Was what did God tell uh, Joshua when he was pitching a fit because he lost the battle of AI? It's just saying that's the same thing as like asking you about somebody's name. Right. So just remember that, people. That's why faith comes by hearing, right? And hearing the word of God, not heard. And I think a lot of people sit there and go about what they heard or what they once read, but they don't they forget about it. But we gotta always continue to stay in us. Just stay in the scriptures. All right. So with that in mind, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Let's go into did because the question was did do other gospels teach to steal, kill, and destroy? And the reason I brought that up, because I always ask the question, why people do the things that they do? And and, and I think that same pattern exists today of, of how Christians will go after people or teach a message and people go and, and do bad things to other people contrary to the will of God. So this, here's the, here's the and I blame this one ministry here. This is the Roman Catholics. And I ain't talking about all Roman Catholics, and I ain't talking about all popes. I'm gonna talk about the Pope that did write stuff, right? This was uh, this is Pope Nicholas V, and uh, this is what he said. This, it called a doom diversa, which means until different. In other words, you will do this until sudden. Until sudden. That's until interesting. I say something. Until <laughs> I say something. <laughs> yeah, right. It is a papal bull issued on 18 June 1452 by Pope Nicholas V. It authorized Alfonso V of Portugal, Portugal to conquer the Saxarians and pagans and consign them. That's a bad thing about it, brother. Consign them to perpetual servitude. The one of the things that I wanted to bring out on this particular one, and, and the brother has what we're talking about is. That wasn't dealing with a particular race at that time, this particular uh, dot letter. But he gave it to, uh, I guess another Pope came after him, Pope uh, Catastus, Catastus the third reiterated the bull in 1456. That Pope must have lived long then. <laughs> yeah, that's four years, yeah, that's real quick. But he just reiterated it, 1456, with the intercestitaria, not to be confused with Alexander the Sixth Bull, of the same title. There's somebody else, right? Uh, renewed by Pope Sextus IV in 1481. Now we got a little gap in it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, 41 and Pope Leo X in 1514 with Precisus Denotinus, this is talking about French people talking, right? Or Spaniards talking. <laughs> English, the English version is, especially the description. Clarification needed. The concept of the consignment of exclusive fears of influence to certain nation states was extended to the America, look at that. It was extended to our country uh, in 1493 by Pope Alexander the Sixth with the Intersectaria. In other words, basically the Intersectaria was given a ram of how far this letter is supposed to expand to. Uh, but it basically opened the door for a, this is basically since the guy is the head of a church, right? Not just one, several of them, wasn't it? <laughs> uh, heads of the church telling people that they can go and put people, pagans and so forth, into uh, perpetual servitude. And, and you got to understand, they were actually making slaves. Yes. And this, this particular time frame, yeah. um, man, just from, from from the time it was issued to the time it came to the Americans, mm -hmm. Americas was f over 40 years. Come on now. That's 
40 years of making slaves. Yes, Over sir. 40 years. Over here. And justifying. You've got to go even further than that. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, it was, uh, and, the, and what we're trying to say, the uniqueness is what? It's the church. Yeah. Right? The so-called church. Sanction. Sanction it. Endorse it. That's what my buddy all talked about. The, the, the angel was like, well, the Bible endorsed slavery. And now these, these people, they call themselves leaders, because these are the leaders of the church, so, right? <clears throat> that one makes it significant. Leaders of the church. How many of the leaders of the church today are endorsing bad behavior, endorsing things of hate and destruction? How many family members are doing that, teaching their children? But we we, we give this to the people. Look, when the people don't know, right? What does scripture say? My people are strong for the lack of knowledge? Or they have rejected knowledge? This is because the example saying is that people use another gospel. So, it, so I gave you the picture of uh, Pope Nicholas and Alfonso the fifth, and then this is the territory. Here's the next one. Look at this. This is the picture here. What the paganism was, and and the reason I put this picture up there is that these this is not obviously that picture is showing people. Of, of, are you talking about people of color? Is it? I'm talking about pagans, non-believers. Yeah. If you weren't a Christian, you were considered a pagan. And far they're concerned, they can put you in perpetual slavery. Uh, this is the Arabs, the Saxarians, Saxarians, uh, South Racians, was used basically in Greek for Latin and based on the Arabs. That's that's who those were. So they were, and that was just probably justified a crusade. You remember when they went into yeah. the promised land to for the crusade. But this church people, that's the only thing we're trying to say, ministries, not the true church, not the true believers. We're talking about a lot of other people, though, who was using the church to get their moral... Uh, and, and, and and had the gospel. Yeah, read the book saying that we're reading today. King, King, King James <laughs> <laughs> Had the Bible in their hands. You know, but... Then again, we talk about the fact that a lot of people couldn't read. A lot of people couldn't read. Yeah. That, that was another issue. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, these are other people. This is Pope uh, Calactius III, who was mentioned. I put up here again, Pope Alexander VI. I put him up there. I put Pope Sixus the Fourth. That's what these slides are big. We did say, I just read the same. That part is, hasn't changed what we just read. <clears throat> I was just trying to depict the people that were of ministries, leaders. How many the leaders today are telling you to do the same thing? Something something similar. How many leaders do you have in ministry today in 2023 that's actually encouraging people to steal, kill, and destroy? Oh, let me let me correct myself before we go on. They did not have the King James version. But they oh yeah, had the version. 1619, I think, was the yeah. King James version, right? But they had the they had the Bible. Yeah. You know, he just matter of fact. Another thing is that Catholic and stuff they were speaking Latin. Yeah. So not only could it, most of the pagans couldn't read, but if those kings could, though, right? Those, those, those kings could read. Kings and, and all those who were in a position of power could read. Nobility could read. So they knew the gospel. They had it in their hands. They ignored it. And how many people, and then, you know, I'm going to throw it at y'all again today. How many people are doing that today? What's coming out of the, your church leader's mouth? What's coming out of the deacon's mouth? What's coming out of the pastor's mouth? What's coming out of the, the priest's mouth today? Who's, what gospel are they teaching today? That's what I want you to say. <clears throat> so the question is, does any other gospel teach a steal, kill, and destroy? The answer is yes. Right? That, that That's clear. This is this is a historical document. And you can go check the Wikipedia. Put down the uh, where you can get it from if you need to find out where, <laughs> where it comes from, right? I'm just telling you, you can look it up. People trying to ban books. You got the internet. The internet give you everything. Just, it don't care. Yeah, that's what I'm tripping on. How are you going to ban a book? 
if it's been digitized. Come on now. You, <laughs> you're wasting your breath. You're going to try to lie to your children. You know, like we talked about earlier last week. Talking about, the, well, you didn't, you weren't here last week, but we talked, you, you remember the news where Florida sits there and say there were some benefits out of slavery. You, you, yeah, you got to understand that was a, they taught them how to maybe be a blacksmith or something. Oh, oh, so you think they weren't blacksmith where they came from? Yeah. Mm. Where, where, that's where all the precious metals came from to begin with. <laughs> the beginning of civilization started yeah. there. And you're going to sit there and say that they benefited from, you taught them something that they, they wouldn't have known? That that's 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 taught another gospel, brother. You see what I'm saying? You're trying to preach another gospel. You're trying to cloak the real gospel, the gospel, into some phony, devastating, and I'm talking about eternal life issues. That's the rules you gotta understand. And pastors and ministers out there and teachers and you, I think people that's listening to this, you should call out. I think you know you you kind of joke about the fact is what about this if there was. In the, if you could be able to speak in a congregation service and say, well, wait a minute, what, what about this? And you know, you're not authorized to do that. You know, you're not allowed to do that. Uh, but you should throughout the week discuss that with other fellow believers. And you know, he said this. Is that, is that lined up with the scripture? You know, that's why y'all should talk about it and have a platform for yourselves. You know, only, you don't need a, you don't need a, a Zoom or anything else, you need to just have a living room. <laughs> hey, bro, you can just have a lunch. Uh, just please talk, people. I'm, I'm begging you to talk to one another. Hey, man, God bless you. We Once again, I, I really enjoyed the discussion that was done this week for this Sunday, um, the uh, 5th or the 6th of August. Uh, and, and, and you really need to take a look at this. And, 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 and analyze the scripture, see? And I'm going to talk about the fact is that there's people today as well as documented history of people preaching, teaching, authorizing another gospel. And what I mean another gospel means is that our gospel is, which may stand for good news, is to love one another. Our gospel is that God sent his son, his only begotten son, and I ain't talking about, I'm talking about his spirit, the spirit of Christ. His body came so that he can be and die for our sin. You can't kill God, amen? But you can't, God sit there and put himself in the flesh and carbonate him for the flesh, amen? So the point I'm saying is that the gospel is that God sent a savior for all mankind, for all mankind to be saved. And that's that's the teaching of the gospel, and that all of us can receive it. Don't mean we're going to be forced to do it, and that's another thing about it is if you preach a gospel where you can you force somebody to believe it, then, then you're not preaching the gospel. The gospel is an invitation. The gospel is a gift. And you don't make people receive a gift. You offer the gift. And for us, as sowers and believers, we continue to preach the gospel so people can understand it. Amen? So, well, I think you're going to love this. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to uh, leave comments if you, if you want to make comments. Uh, but just understand, these sections, these sessions are designed to help us grow. And I also encourage, we talked about earlier, is, don't forget to use whatever you did in this our sessions or what you heard in your church service. Don't forget to go out and discuss that with your fellow believers or for people that's not a believer. We don't go to we don't go to ministries just for ourselves. We go for the ministry to grow and to, to spread the gospel because that's the calling that we're supposed to have, amen? So don't forget that. I just encourage you to use our session, our platform, or any other ministry platform. If they preach and teach the gospel, use that as discussions throughout the week so you can grow and other people can learn from this well, amen? I just encourage you to do that, you know? And I put that here, the scriptures, it says, no other gospel which is in Galatians 1, 6, said, I marvel you so soon removed from him 
that calls you to the grace of Christ and to another gospel, which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you, then that which we have preached unto you, let him be a curse. As we said before, so I say it now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you than that you have received, let him be a curse. For I do not, for I do now persuade men, O God, or do I proceed or seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. So that's that's basically what we were trying to cover and we talked about it some great discussions so i hope you enjoy the the uh, session that we went through today and uh we will see you when we see you i'm gonna break this down in about from from a all the way to g if necessary uh for you to look at analyze and study don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you when I see you. I bless you. I appreciate you listening. I appreciate your support. And continue to do what you believe is right. And continue to lift all those up in prayer to preach the true gospel. Amen. God bless you. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you when I see you. All right. God bless you. Bye-bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you.